Hey, yo. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, a professional artist trying to give you the best in art historical content. Oh my god! As always, I appreciate the likes, shares, subscribes, you know, whatever. I appreciate it, thanks. Laughable, man! <laughs> As you know, I generally focus on artists and things like that, but this one, we're going to focus on some subject matter. Well, talk to me, good buddy! So here I am at the beach and uh, the water's really rolling in that really makes me think about all of the artists that have really put a focus on the the water so let's take a look at some of the artists that really have created some awesome images of water hey is that old man river now we could talk indefinitely about different artists that had a great work with water in it or even artists that utilized the element of water quite regularly, but for this one I just want to focus on 11 artists that I feel really nailed the element of water, who I personally have a high level of esteem as colleagues and artists, and whose skill at rendering water is really exemplary. So the idea came from where? I just pulled it out of my ass, sir. Put it back in there because it sucks. Isabel Emmerich is a California artist who has mastered women underwater. To be fair, there are many artists that have done the same sort of subject matter, but I really feel like she does it in a very unique way of creating a portrait. Well, I, d I really only had imaginary girlfriend. Now, Winslow Homer is an artist that I've looked at before, but I tell you, from watercolors to oil paintings, his renderings, including water, are really top shelf. And in my mind, his paintings that are like these are what make him an American institution. I was like, this is, th we need to figure out how to do this. Now, David Hockney is an artist who really made it possible for artists to have their acrylic works accepted in an academic sort of context. Now, beyond that, he is very well known for his works that are created at the side of a swimming pool. It would be an absolute crime if I did not include Claude Monet in a list of artists that create wonderful depictions of water. From Impression Sunrise all the way to his water lilies that were painted in his flooded backyard, he is recognized as the Impressionistic master of water. Uh, yeah, I, I think so, yeah. Esther Roy is an Italian artist who is now living in Southern California. And I love her works in colored pencil because not only do they have amazing water, but they also incorporate many depictions of rocks that are absolutely fantastic. You just sit back and enjoy the magic of rock! J.M.W. Turner is very well known for his nautical paintings as well as his paintings of bad weather. As a romantic artist, typically he would have these elements representing God's emotions toward humanity, like the aggressive waters we see in the slave ship. Say your prayers, you long-eared galoot! Hokusai is a Japanese painter printmaker who is famous around the world for his printmakings, but also the iconic image of the wave. Prints like his were a major influence to the Impressionist painters of the mid-1800s. That's right. Now I gotta tell you that Gustav Courbet is the first artist that comes to my mind as I stand on this beach in his painting, The Stormy Sea, from 1869. Many art academics give Courbet credit for developing the modern landscape seascape. Please continue. I'm a big fan of the way surrealist Salvador Dali incorporates water into his surrealistic paintings and landscapes. 
through surrealism, water can take on so many different forms and endless numbers of bizarre possibilities. <laughs> this is the best thing I've seen all day! The best! The best! Frederick Edwin Church was a central figure in the Hudson River School of American Landscape Painters. His large-scale paintings really allow the viewer to feel like they're in the moment, in the space, next to that water. Right. Just one more. Don Lorenzo Bernini is a Baroque sculptor who is a master at his work. But beyond that, he was very famous for his fountains that are placed all over Rome. And because his works actually contain water, he's probably my favorite artist to have water as a subject matter in their artworks. Okay, thank you, Great Falls. We're going to take a little break now. You are beautiful.